and we are live. So this is three tips I wish I had knew when I started producing. I have it for some money. What's up guys, this is three things I wish I had knew when I started producing. These tips will save a lot of money and time. So let's roll the intro. What's up guys, my name is Matthias aka Proganel Gans. I'm Finnish music producer and this is my new tutorial series. In this tutorial series we will cover a big variety of music production topics from mixing to mastering, sound design and much more. Also we can cover topics like YouTube and social media which are important part of music business these days. But without further ado, let's start with the first tip in this video. The mistake number one I made when I started producing was with the VSTs. I'm sure if you've been producing for a while now, you can kind of relate with this. When I started, I wanted to make certain sounds like Skrillex based sounds and I went to YouTube to do some research and oftentimes I found a VST that I didn't have. And my first reaction was, I need to get that VST to make the sounds to become the next Skrillex and that's not a good way to go about things. When you start out, I think you should try to learn one synth properly and use only a couple effect plugins. That way you will learn the VST properly and much faster than you would otherwise. The second mistake a lot of new producers make and this actually applies to more advanced producers also and that's to focus on for too long on one track. And I'm a huge advocate for quantity over quality. I think that's the best way to improve your track quality and your skill set. At the beginning and even right now, I think I should have and I should focus more on finishing track and shipping it out. That way it's much easier to get better and learn to finish tracks which I think should be one of the main goals if you try to get better at producing. And before we move to the last tip, I want to remind you guys to click the subscribe button and the bell to not be notified on the next week's episode. When I started making tracks and I'd be in the middle of the process, really immersed and then I listened to my track, something was missing. I wasn't really sure what that was, but I think oftentimes it was the other way. And that leads to my third tip, which is less is more. I think it's really easy to listen to your track and think that something is missing while actually it's that your existing elements are lacking. When you're adding new elements to your track, it's really important to think how much room you have in your mix because every new element should have their own place in the mix. So that way your mixes don't get too muddy but if you stack a lot of similar instruments on top of each other you will eat your headroom really fast and that causes a lot of trouble on mixing and mastering stages and also it weakens the existing elements let's say you have good kick drum and good bass line then you're thinking about adding a guitar let's say you add your guitar and it doesn't sound too good. Then you add violins and synths and other stuff. Every time you add something new to the same space which the guitar was, you're kind of taking away from the guitar. And it's really important to think, do I really need to add new things to my mix or do my existing elements sound bad? That's three things I wish I had new when I started producing. These are things that I actually still try to focus on. I'm sure many of you guys can relate with these things, but I'd be interested to hear what are your biggest mistakes that you did when you started producing. But that's it for this episode. Be sure to click the subscribe button, hit the bell, and I'll see you guys next week. See ya!